Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I love all things Disney, Lounge Fly, Star Wars, Harry Potter. I have two Lounge Fly backpacks today and a purse. I've been so excited. It's the Rapunzel sequin. I did manage to get the backpack and the purse. And the March pre-orders have arrived early, so Ariel and Sisters. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you will know I love a sequin and I love it when things have Ariel and her sisters on there. So I'm very excited for today. It is a rather large box, I don't know if they ran out of small ones or if it's because I have the purse as well as the Rapunzel backpack. I have been so restrained by the way to not have a peek in this, just saying. But I had no idea how much this one was going to sell out, so I can't even remember what day it went live now, it was a, probably a week or so ago. Was it a Thursday afternoon? Um, oh, some of the tape's coming off already. And at 5 o'clock, I was already logged into my account on Funko Europe. Just, oh. this tape not the best and then five o'clock came I refreshed both of the pages added a bag checked out and I was done I then left my PC I can't remember what I was doing but I left my PC did something else came back about 20 minutes later to see that so many people had tried to get one and it was even in their cart and it had sold out so I, I feel very lucky that I actually have one I was a bit skeptical until I got the shipping email though and then I was like okay now I know I've got one on full Rapunzel today, even tried to do a braid. Paper on the top, can't see a thing. I can see the top of it. Okay. Shall I do the backpack or the purse? I'm going to do the backpack first because I'm most excited for the backpack. I'm going to get the purse out, actually, and put it, sorry for this noise, ah! and put it just there. We'll do that one in a moment. Put the backpack. Oh my goodness. Sorry for this noise. I'm going to try and get her out of the packaging as well. Oh, really quickly. Get rid of the noise. Um, oh, could bring any scissors with me so we're having to use the box opener. Okay. Get rid of the packaging. Get all the noise out of the way. Holy moly. Get this card off. Purple is my favourite colour. I love Seeker and Loungefly. I love Rapunzel. I'm trying to get my Rapunzel hair back. I had it trimmed like a couple weeks ago and I feel like it needs to cut again already. But I'm getting sidetracked. She is just beautiful. If you can hear that noise, it's the tag dangling around. Okay, I'm going to actually show you her now. Instead of just sitting here admiring her myself, look at this. The detail on there. Oh, I also saw online the lantern at the top is glow in the dark. See, it's daylight right now. If I can, so I've tried to do it before and it's gone horribly wrong, I'll try and put up either a clip or a picture of the glow in the dark part if it turns out okay. But yeah, that lantern at the very top there glows in the dark. And you've got the Disney and Lounge Flight tag. And then that lacing up part, it's like the effect that you see on her dress. It's just beautiful. I'm obsessed. I do have on the back of this shoulder the Rapunzel Sun as a small tattoo with some of this style design around it. So, I mean, I had to get this bag, didn't I? Look at that. Look at the sequin shimmer. Also, I love how they've done it on the zip pullers. Like on Ariel, it's the Trident. Sleeping Beauty's one, it's the spinning wheel the spindle spinning wheel and i believe on tiana it's right i only have ariel aurora tiana and rapunzel i didn't get all of them i'm probably not going to get all of them because some of them are like not like gold dust right now but a bit rarer now but i love how they've put something on the zip pullers not just have like a generic zip puller and for rapunzel it's the frying pan because frying pans who knew I love it. And there's different colour sequins as well. So the sequins on the front part and the two side pockets are a bit more of a deeper purple to match this. Whereas up top the sequins are more of like a pinky purple, like a light lilac with a dash of pink in there. So you can see the difference between the top and the bottom. And then on the side 
the slightly darker and slightly lighter and it's got like the pinks and the purples as the stripes on that pocket I'll show this pocket first and then the back actually I'll do a quick 360 of the full thing first and then I'll show the back that tag is starting to get annoying isn't it it's annoying me anyway okie doke I believe this one's like just a flat out 80 pound and on the back it says I light my own way and it has some of the lanterns on there and it's just beautiful look at that detail with like pink for the straps what's the bottom that same beautiful lilac colour and it's got like pink accents to it going all the way around as well I love her look at this outfit this outfit is perfect together oh my goodness okay we'll open her up and then I'll have a look at the purse then we'll do Ariel she's jam packed full of packaging oh my goodness oh it looks like it's all a little bit thick. well goodness me we might be here for a few minutes she has an inner pocket I always do my best not to look at too many online pictures so I kind of keep some things as a surprise for myself she has an inner pocket I love an inner pocket. Oh, I love this lining. So the lining is the same as this kind of colour purple, so the slightly darker purple. And it's got the flower, it's got the lantern, and they're kind of like in diamond shapes. With that glorious slip in a pocket in the back. Here we go. It's so beautiful. I'll show the front puppy seat a bit easier at the front just there. There we go. I love it. There are some backpacks that I probably won't ever use. I'm, I'm a bit of a mix. I will collect some. I will use some. I'm not. Some people just use all of theirs. Some people just collect theirs. I do both. I use some and collect some. I think she's gonna get detagged and used because I just love her so much. And I feel like this is perfect for Magic Kingdom as well because they have that little tangled area in Magic Kingdom. Rapunzel bound. Hopefully my hair will have grown a bit more by then. Okay, I'm going to pop the backpack just there for a second. We'll have a look at the purse and then I'll hold them up together. Is that... Oh yes. Tape! Tape, tape, tape. We'll use the box opener. I don't remember how much the purse was. The backpack was £80, British pound. Ooh, the purse might have been about £40 actually. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Let me just get that. Oh, there's a lot of paper. Get off. Get off. Right, we'll get rid of the paper. Can I press stud that back in? It's a press stud. Oh, there we go. Okie doke. I'm going to hold the tag there. So, this is the front and it matches the backpack with its design. And the lantern on the front, again, will glow in the dark. And it has the same beautiful kind of sequins and then that stitch effect from her dress. And then on the back, it's got the same pattern as the front of the pocket with those beautiful kind of drawing details there and the darker purple for the sequins. Yoink. So this part is like a press stud. You see, it pops there. So you've got the bow. Then it press studs again. And she opens up. And I love that she has a coin compartment. So I was actually thinking of changing out purses. So... I feel like both of these are going to get detagged and I'm going to start to use both of them because she's got a coin section and you need a coin section for them pesky coins so this is the oh I love that on one of the card holder parts they've got the actual sun in the kind of cut out of the plastic hopefully that's showing up it's the sun it's so beautiful and then you've got the pinks and the purples and it has the same inner lining as the backpack does if I just get that little tag out of the way it will have the exact same lining in there just look at that I love them can I do a 360 with a purse I'll do a 360 we'll, we'll pop her back in la 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 there we go so there's the front I mean a 360 with the purse is pretty much just front and back isn't it so there we go front and back and then together, look at these two. So that's kind of the size difference between the purses and the backpacks. Obviously the purse will be 
quite thin. But I just, I love them. I love them. She's my favourite in the Princess Sequin series. So far, I say so far, have we got like three of them left or is there two left? I've seen comments on Facebook that have said Snow White will be one of them. No idea on the other. I would love an Elsa backpack. As in, I prefer Elsa in the second film when she's more spirit Elsa. That's just my personal preference. But then she's not really a princess at that point, is she? So that might not work. However, just before the Little Mermaid backpack, I've been, and I am going to swap out into my Little Mermaid ears as well in a few moments, just because. Why not? So I'll bung those just there. I have been meaning to show these for a while, and it kind of works out perfectly today. From Wish Upon a Candle Co., she does candles, wax melts, scoopy bottles. I believe there's scoopy we'll have a look and they these match up perfectly because under the sea is one of the scents obviously little mermaid theme lost princess these two are my personal favorites so this one is the wax melt bar it looks like a chocolate bar but please do not eat it you just kind of snap them off and it's a wax melt it has glitter in there this one now this one doesn't tell me the scent on there it's very floral but i'm going to pop the lost princess scent up there it does tell you all of them online under the sea a clean citrus accord with top notes of orange lemon followed by a grapefruit marine and cooling hints of mint i wish that we could do smell a vision so i could do a bit of a waftage and you could smell this because it's just stunning so those two are my personal favorites now i do have another couple ones to show real quick because i keep meaning to and i keep forgetting to do it so i'm gonna do it today she always sends things in these beautiful boxes as well she's very aesthetically pleasing by the way although packing peanuts i have two cats the one loves packing peanuts so some of these are going to be for him bless him oh the love charm so this one is inspired by harry potter and it's obviously the love charm i'm pretty sure this one is like toothpaste and parchment i'm pretty sure jasmine who created these said she did that how hermione kind of likes it in her mind another oh, see i say another one of my favorites they're all absolutely amazing mouse keeping does what it says on the tin this is just like fresh linen and it's stunning and the scents last it's not the sort of thing where you burn it once and then the smell is gone you can burn these like four or five times i put one block in to start and then add another one if i want to i won't put more than that in otherwise it might overflow and then box 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 boxes everywhere there we go so these are the scoopy bottles they are the same concept as the it's like a chocolate bar wax melter but they're in these cute little dots and this one is caribbean beach lobby uh, inspired by a magical scent piped through a tropical hotel check-in desk relaxing tones of fresh, fresh citrus and pineapple infused water topped with creamy notes of sweet coconut and again i wish we could do smell a vision so you could just have a waft that's so nice so nice right now i think i've got glass slipper on I, not as in like on my foot as in downstairs in the wax burner but I will link Jasmine's shop down below, Wish Upon a Candle Co. If you use code HANNAH10, it gets you 10% off. So it's rude not to, isn't it? You can see who this is from. Pop figures. It's the Little Mermaid backpack. Now it is still February, so I am very pleased to have this early. It was a March pre-order. There's a Rapunzel March pre-order, actually. I believe it's the Rapunzel Scenes backpack. I'm probably going to have to get that one as well, aren't I? Let's be honest. But I knew the Rapunzel sequin was coming, so I thought for now I would just stick to the Ariel and Sisters. You probably can't see my Ariel section. I've got nine, don't judge me, nine Little Mermaid backpacks. Three of them have Ariel and her sisters on there. I've just got this thing for when something has Ariel and her sisters. I've just realised I haven't changed out my ears, have I? I can't unbox Ariel without Ariel ears on. So Rapunzel got there for a second. I also didn't want to wear these ones all the way through as well, just because the actual like official Disney ears do push a bit behind there, whereas Once Upon a Craft UK ears, I can wear those all day. Okay, Ariel time. Now I'll open it and I will shush. Okay, 
did I? Nope. Goodness me, I am so bad at opening boxes, even with a box opener. Absolutely terrible. So, yes, I love things when it has Ariel and her sisters on there. So I had to get me the Ariel and sisters. Oh, she's at the bottom. Eh. See, either of these by themselves would be one of my favourite backpacks in a long time. Having them both together, I'm not going to pick a favourite. I'm just not. Oh. 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 Oh, it's not one of the little duffel bags with it. One second. I am so sorry for all this noise. They come with these little duffel bags. Can I get the box? Out of the way. So I have a lounge flying pop figures sticker. I love a sticker. And look at this. Pop figures kind of keepsake bag to put them in to keep them nice that'd be good for if like me you have too many and you need to store them away I keep meaning to do a full collection video honestly there's loungefly in the loft there's loungefly under the bed there's loungefly in my wardrobe there's loungefly on and under my desk at some point I will do it just when I start thinking about it I start getting a bit overwhelmed and then I'm like no I'll do it another week so I'm building up to it but I don't know when that's going to be oh. Oh, King Triton's covered up okay get the card oh I love it so much I love it so much okay can I get, uh, I don't know if I might need to, the box opener for this. Or can I just rip it? Because I don't want to, like, accidentally cut the trident. Oh, oh, okay. Lovely. There we go. Bonus points if you can name all of Ariel's sisters. I can, but I can never remember which is which. I know that this one is a Tina, and I'm pretty sure the one in red is Alana. The rest I sometimes get wrong, but I will get there one day where I can name all of them, as in, like I can name them all, but know which one is which. That's the key for me to do. Oh my goodness me. So it's like the wedding scene when they get married at the very end of the film and all the sisters are there and King Triton's there and he puts the rainbow over. Look at this. So I'll start with the top there. You can see Ariel and Eric in their wedding gear. And then the trident is like an applique that's on the top. And look. There's Triton with all of his daughters. Love it. I always say, you know in like Disney quizzes where people say name all the seven dwarves? We should have to name all of Triton's daughters. But that's probably only just because I know the answer. But this pocket has Scuttle and Flounder. Look at their happy little faces. They're so sweet. And then this pocket here has Sebastian on there. What's the bottom real quick? It's like a like a deep teal colour, whereas the rest of it obviously is like the sky blue and then the ocean blue at the bottom. The back is also beautiful. It's like the back of the wedding ship when you see them. I was going to say driving off. Sailing off. We sail on a ship, don't we? And Ariel and Eric are in the top corner having a wave. You can see them just there. Oh, making squeaky noises. The straps are that kind of... It's like a darker teal sort of colour I would say for that one I love it I think she's going to get detagged as well I'm just obsessed I love it so much ok 360 time I'm just sat here staring aren't I I could just sit here and stare at these backpacks for hours I really could anyway we will do a proper 360 here we go Ariel and Eric are a bit kind of embossed as well, so they kind of come out a bit more. And then Triton is like an applique that's on the top as well. And we'll have a look inside. We'll open her up. I believe this one was around $74.99. If you're part of some of the loungefly groups on Facebook, some of them have discount codes for some retailers. 
So I did get, I think it was 10 or 15 for something. And as well, oh, goodness me. She has an inner pocket. They both have inner pockets. Oh, goodness me. They're both perfect. I've got a purple sequin. Purple's my favourite colour. I think I've already said that. And I've got Ariel and her sisters. I both have it in our pockets. Can you get much better? It's the same kind of deep... I'm pretty sure that's like a dark teal sort of colour. And it has Ariel on there. It's got some seashells, some starfish and the trident. But if I show that pot first, you can see that beautiful inner pocket at the back there. Look at that. And then that lining... Now then a bit better. I love them. Like I said, each of these by themselves would be a favourite. So the fact they've come together, this is like perfect for me. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite was from today, Rapunzel or The Little Mermaid. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!